ancient sailors thought they were mermaids. Today, they're Florida's official state marine mammal and an important tourist attraction. Their numbers have been on a slow increase for decades, and manatees could soon be removed from the federal endangered species list. An idea some manatee experts say should be treated with caution because these animals still face serious threats to their survival. The most obvious threat can be seen in the patterns of scars on the backs of many manatees, evidence of injuries from motorboats. State wildlife officials don't know how many manatees are injured this way every year. We know how many die by boats every year because we collect the carcasses, but there's you know, a large percent of the animals that get hit that don't die from it. Uh, they may sustain what we call sublethal injuries. They die later. They have chronic injuries as a result of an encounter with a boat. The manatees' shallow water lifestyle seems to doom them to being struck by boats. Well, manatees are, in a lot of ways, just like a big underwater cow. The problem is, as the manatees are grazing on the grass beds and the boat comes along, the, there's nowhere for them to dive down to get away from the boats. There are speed limits on boats in manatee grazing areas, but until now, scientists have had no hard evidence that speed zones actually work. With support from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, studies have examined ways to prevent manatee injuries. Researchers from the nonprofit Wildlife Trust have observed manatees for several years, both before and after the boating speed limits were put into effect. We actually see a fairly high number of what we call interactions, which is a boat either coming by close, passing by, traveling. Sometimes we even see boats approaching manatees because they realize that the manatee is there. Asking boaters to slow down might be useless if the manatees can't actually hear where approaching boats are coming from. Studies with captive manatees may shed light on that. Today specifically is an experiment that's uh, looking at the ability of manatees to localize sound underwater. This manatee gets a reward every time it successfully identifies the direction of sounds played through underwater speakers. And there is concern, uh, one, over whether they can hear the boats, and two, if they can hear them, can they localize them? Answers to these basic questions may help devise new regulations needed to protect these unique marine mammals, allowing them to continue increasing their numbers. For This American Land, I'm Gary Stryker.